On the far eastern edges of the Rus laid a small principality by the name of Ryazan. Marred by conflict and destruction, the state has now faded from history. To explain why that is, we must go back in time. The history of the Ryazan Principality begins sometime in the late thousands, A.D., with its split from the Principality of Chernigov. Up until this time, it was primarily controlled by fighting Chernigov princes. However, after the Council of Liubik in 1097 A.D., which took place in a town of the same name that still exists to this very day in modern Ukraine, the territory was divided into three separate parts to three different brothers, Oleg, David, and the youngest, Yaroslav. Being the most junior of the three, Yaroslav was given the most desolate and insignificant principality in Ryazan, located southeast of modern-day Moscow. It was, in many ways, an untimed wildland of the Rus that had only somewhat recently been put under full control. It was a historical area of various Uralic peoples, chief among them were the Maramians, which the first capital of the principality derives its name from, in Marama. They originally paid various tributes to the Rus. However, within the centuries after first contact between the groups, the Maramians became assimilated and eventually disappeared with time. Like much of the Eastern European plain, its land was mostly flat, with its only real defining feature being located on the Aka River. In the following decades, trade would make up for the lack of natural resources or great land, though, turn the area into a decently wealthy place. Sometime in the 1150s AD, the Principality's capital moved from Maram to Ryazan. Not much is known between now and 1237, but the importance of Ryazan is unfortunately not what they did, necessarily, but what was done to them. In 1237, a great warlord by the name of Batu Khan and his golden horde demanded tribute from the small principality, but were refused by the prince at the time, Yuri Ingvarevich, with his infamous reply, If we are not there, then everything will be yours. This proved to be a grave mistake. The battle on the Voronezh River soon after his refusal marked the first fight between the Mongols and Rus. Yuri had reached out to other principalities for help, but these pleas either fell on deaf ears or came too late. Consequently, the battle ended with the complete destruction of Yuri's army and opened the gates for the attack on the city of Ryazan. Before the battle, Yuri had sent his son Fedor and an envoy to negotiate with the Mongols, who upon their arrival and refusal to meet Mongol demands, chief among them being bringing Fedor's wife to Batu's bed, were promptly executed. Though we can never truly confirm Yuri's motives, revenge from this was likely a big reason why he chose to fight the Mongol forces. After being besieged for days, the town was completely destroyed, the civilians killed, and everything left of value looted. The town never recovered, and the modern Ryazan of today is actually located nearly 55 kilometers from where the original one stood. A modern Russian movie was actually based on these events. It is called The Legend of Kolovrat, or Furious, which follows the life of Evpati Kolovrat and the events of the ancient written work The Tale of the Destruction of Ryazan. He was a bagatir who attempted to avenge the destruction of a city. Even though he died at the hands of the Mongol army, his bravery was commended by Batu, and with it his body was allowed to be taken by his fellow soldiers and buried. After the Mongol invasions, the strength of Ryazan was severely diminished, and even though it lasted for a few centuries afterwards and annexed some small territories around it, it was never a major power within the area. In 1521, the principality was fully absorbed by Muscovy, effectively ending its independence. With this, the history of the principality of Ryazan came to an end, an integral part of the story of the Kievan Rus and the East Slavs of today. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for next time to learn more about the principality of Novgorod.